What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So before we continue with the Fen, uh, one little goodie I missed back here at the Vestige of Jabui. This was the uh, the Sanctuary Vestige, but I'm going to run right over here. There's some upgrade mats that are tucked away back there that we're going to grab. They're not too important, but especially early on, having access to every upgrade possible is useful. So let's go on and pick up those little fragments. This will especially help if you're going through a uh, couple different weapons and they're running out. But either way, we are ready to continue from the Fen. This area has uh, a lot of different loops, a lot of poison. Pretty fun area to go through though. Uh, so I would recommend having access to the poison resistance balm to get started here. And what we're going to do here right at the start, make sure hey, last episode, him. obviously make sure you have talked to, to Byron, run through his dialogue. Uh, but right here at the start, we are going to go Umbral. And we're going to head along the right side here. This is going to get us access to some arrows. And you can exit Umbral if you want, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to be uh, doing some more stuff in Umbral in just a second anyway. So we'll grab that, kill him, cross the little bridge here. Grab this guy over here. See all the, uh, the zombies are starting to pile up. And typically this whole area is kind of like swamped up, so being a number helps. Uh, but right when we pass under this little bridge, we want to grab this right here and then make a sharp left to go down into here and we're gonna pop the belly it's access to the angel's axe it's a decent strength weapon uh, personally I didn't like it more than the hammer but if you are not a fan of the hammer it's a decent alternative choice and now we are actually gonna run past some enemies here and get a nice little shortcut back, so... Oops. Might have to fight my way past this guy. There we go. So just go past him. Right past this guy. And we have a door right here. And there we go. We're back. All right, so turn back through, take this guy out. He's both upgraded, both at plus two. Now we have a ladder that we can kick down right here and there's some stuff below. Uh, let's see, kicked on the ladder and our umbral, we're gonna go up for now, kill off. That guy, kill this one. There's a couple more up ahead, but we're not terribly worried about them. Now, what we're actually going to do here is go into Umbral, and there's a ladder right here we'll take up. This is just a little side section that we're going to clear out now. It's a long side section. Grab some nuggets. Take this guy out. Grab the little loot that's right here. And we're going to exit our umbral. Now right behind this, we have a big guy. And if we're lucky... Oh, I did not get the stagger on him. out though. Uh, if you're having trouble with him, obviously we can use Soul Flay to pull his soul on out. Kill that guy. Uh, let's see. 
down the ladder, get the upgrade mats, kill spear, mage spear, tank near fire, exit armor, fight the big guy in the boards, and then take out the soldier. Up ahead we have a archer, so we're gonna pop him off from range. Alright, once he's dead, we can go into Umbral, cross over this bridge. There's going to be a couple more enemies that are uh, just kind of positioned to try and get an ambush on you. So, we'll go up here, grab the smite here. These guys usually do a two-shot pattern before they have to reload. So, you can use that to, uh, to plan properly. We got some goodies waiting for us. We can actually just get rid of this one with a soul flag, so we'll pull him on over. And then once he gets close to the bridge, hit him with the good old Yetus Deletus. He's gone. Should be gone. Oh no, he didn't die all the way. That's okay, we'll, we'll kill him on our way back. We don't have to kill that guy. Just, you know, why leave him alive? Make your way all the way up. And you may notice this as the spot where we fell down when we were fighting the Congregator. Over there? I feel like there should have been something right there. No, there's nothing. Uh, either way, let's make our way back down. Hey, friend. Large delirium, those are nice. Usually you don't get those this early. Now as we make our way down, there's an alternate path that you can see right there. So we're gonna head over this way. We're gonna be using that in just a second here, but first thing we're gonna do is go through here. Now there are a couple of gargoyles in this area, so I'd suggest dropping your lantern very quickly after you get in. Uh, they basically hide up on the ceiling, and the whole thing with these enemies is they'll try to dive bomb you. So the idea is you're sitting in Umbral using your lamp, they'll dive bomb down, hit you, get some damage in, and then you're usually, you know, not in a good situation. Now that that's done, now we will go into Umbral. We'll get the stigma here. And then after that, we can drop back down and we have cleared the little alternate area. So go ahead and press at the visage. Also going to upgrade, get a little bit more into our endurance. As I mentioned, we want to go 2020 on that as early as possible. Now, kill the last archer, grab a sword. Um, bust open, continue through, drop immediately. Bust open the vines for ring and a tank to continue to the swamp. Expect that it's all over. Okay. Rude. Go ahead and buff this up. Right, so now we are going to drop on down. You can see there's a plunge we can get here. Take that enemy out and then smack your way through these vines. There's the curse worm ring and the exemplar tank. If I remember, this is for you. Strength and agility by one. So probably not worth using. Uh, now we just have a ton of enemies that we're going to be having to fight. So this area can get a little overwhelming. So just try your best. Right, 
looks like we've gotten rid of that stuff. Now we're going to take down the walker. These enemies you're going to have to kill with uh, ranged. There should be another one that's over here that we can take out now. Go ahead and pop a poison bomb. Let's see even more enemies up top. aren't coming down but that works out it's fine uh, so over here we have a NPC this is a rather annoying side quest uh, this NPC was basically petrified we need to use holy to free them so the easiest way is just gonna be an Empyrean grenade so equip one of those throw it they get more of a direct hit on them oh that is so oh Life is to be being crawled since you seem to think better and good rid I only had if I'd no never talk well, but I feel like meet me at the and it seemed in this then we'll talk. I don't know what I bear in mind. I don't know exactly. Alright, so after we have exhausted her dialogue, we are going to quit the game and then reboot real fast. That will teleport her to the hub and allow us to grab the item that's behind her. Now this NPC's side quest is kinda tedious. Uh, we basically have to bring her along on certain bosses and then alongside that we need to pay her for helping with the boss which is annoying because you don't got to pay any other NPC but if we want to complete her quest line which we are gonna have to do to gain access to her full set uh, she basically is gonna be taking money from us on certain bosses so rather annoying but you know that's that's the name of the game so All right, uh, let me just scroll these real fast. NPC, use the Empyrean grenade. So we're gonna kill the walkers and then cross the wooden walkway. So right here, it's gonna go across this bridge. And there should be a couple more enemies waiting to pop out. Uh, when you see this, this is gonna be our, our, our wooden uh, platform. Just keep that in mind. We're gonna kill these ones. Okay. Secure inside house, humble before going through the wooden gateway. Okay. Kill that guy, and then we can round this and go up. Let's see, Shuja Warrior Spear, the fear early poison weapons in the game. All right, and now we're gonna go into Umbra. So right over here, we want to plunge on down and hit the fairy. And then bully it before it can do anything. And there's another saintly quintessence for us. Now uh, we can go inside this house. There's this loot that we saw that was under the water. Go ahead and grab that. That's a throwing item that you'll need to have to get access to your platinum. Um, and then we can go. We have to access you from above. That's right. Smack him down. I 
There's a couple areas you can use a seedling here. I personally wouldn't. Uh, let's see. Can you go up and take the ladder for the house with the spear? Follow path for two baddies and poison javelin. Okay. So we've got that. Next, we are going to make our way over here. And there is an umbral exit right here. But instead of using that umbral exit, we are going to drop on down. I'm going to blow that up in advance. Just get that out of the way. Don't accidentally hit it. Gives us the poison javelin throne weapon. Might as well kill them. Fast and free experience, right? Alright, now we can make our way back over to where we exit from Umbral, right here. Alright, so proceeding through this gateway, grab this little piece of candy, and at the split here, we need to go that way, but we're going to go over here and place our next, uh, our next spot. So, I'm just going to grab all these goodies, and then we're just going to roll past this stuff. We're just looking to get ahead, and we're going to be uh, dropping a, uh, a seed. We'll roll past that. candy on the ground and before we continue this area we're actually gonna warp out and we'll head to sky rest real fast so we just picked up a new catalyst so if you were following along with this build we now have will marks uh, we're gonna actually put some upgrades into that and that's gonna be a solid catalyst for us for quite a while uh, the next catalyst that just completely outclasses that is, is pretty late so very very safe upgrade choice if you were doing faith so we go ahead and pump the majority of our upgrades into that and then um let's see anything else we want no i do want to go check i want to see if the the umbral stuff has been fixed or it stole my shrimp probably hasn't yet i don't know they're they're patching the game so much so maybe it was but over here and look. Let's see. No. So you're probably still gonna cost. So let's let's see right now. I wanna test the bug. So I have how many shrimp do I have? Let's find out. Do, 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 do. Chosen bearer of the lamp. Like you, I serve on the even see them in my consumable category. I have 32. 32 and 4700. Let's see what happens if I buy one. Alright. 32. Do I now have 33 or did it take one away? Yep, it's still bugged. Damn, it sucks. So, yeah, we're not doing that at all. We're just losing our Umbral Scour Rings every time we do that. Quite annoying. It's now six Umbral Scour Rings that I've lost. And we have enough to get our final point in Endurance. So we'll go ahead and snag that. And we want to go over here and talk to the new NPC that we just recruited. Ah, volume if you spend. I didn't intend to do the finest at one time. Like I said, from what I've you've got no soul. And I'll be there. You did expect great. I help you. Just be sure if you don't. And neither of us. So to do her side quest, as I mentioned, we're going to be bringing her along on a variety of bosses uh, after the boss fight. We need to come back over here and pay her part of the vigor that we get from the boss fight. But, you know, if you're trying to get all the side quests, that's, uh, that's what you're going to have to do. 
Uh, so instead of doing this whole area, we're actually going to go back to where we had just come from. Go ahead and buff up. that open. We kill him. Let's do a little, uh, little soul vacuum. You don't break through. No. Alright, and now we want to go ahead and enter into the Umbral Realm. Do the belly pop. Grab the Verdure Ring. Ooh, she dropped a cluster. Very nice. We want to go this way. So, let's kind of continue going forward through the, the vines, and we can see the Iron Wayfarers sitting here waiting to talk to us. He's only an Umbral. Now just to, to kind of recap where we are, this is that split from earlier, so we ran over there and made our shortcut. But if you had gone this way into the swamp, you could have made one over here instead by the Iron Wayfarer. I think the other one is more useful, uh, given we do have a, a mini-boss coming up that here we're going to fight, but run through his dialogue. I came to... I made a mistake. I came to... I made a mistake. Fight our way back through. Go where those were. Up ahead, we will kill the walker. Now there is a uh, an ambush trap here, so just kind of run out. Trigger that, and then we can run away. Now we'll kill the stuff that was over here. And as we proceed up ahead, there's going to be another one of those, uh, I guess you could call them wooden boulder traps. You can see it right there. They're not particularly dangerous. So after getting that, we can go up ahead over here and we're able to kick this down. And you can see right where this is at. These are those guys we ambushed before we went in the cave. So you can run over uh, this way a little bit faster if you want to get to the boss. But right now we have a boss fight against the Mendacious Visage. So uh, to explain this and how it works. First off, there's two seals that we're going to pop immediately in this fight. And this is going to give us a little bit more room to run around. Uh, now these enemies, I'm just going to call them faces because they're giant faces. You can see them kind of in the center of the screen there. Uh, the way this works is he is going to do big jumping stomps. Uh, you can use Soul Flay to open him Han up and hit the face and get in damage a little bit easier. Alternatively, you can wait until he opens the face and when after it's already opened, you can then Soul Flay to give yourself a free Grievous Strike or a critical hit, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, in general, I find that just kind of getting behind him and hitting him really isn't that hard. I know some people consider that the harder way, but uh, I've, I've fought against them so much at this point. I just think that's that's not that bad. Uh, but the, the biggest thing is we're going to pop the seals and take out some wither mages right at the start. And that's going to make things a little bit easier for us. So right at the very start, we'll go on, pop this one. Then we'll go over here and we'll pop this one. So waiting for that seal to vanish fully so that we can get through it. Oh my goodness. And the 
reason we wanted to do that is now we can loop. We can run all the way up here and we don't have to worry about these enemies as well. Uh, so he can also cause frostbite, which you can see right now. That's going to affect your, uh, your stamina gauge. It's going to lock it basically at half. Just having the, the extra space in this fight makes things a good amount easier. So if we want, now that he's open, we can soul rip and get the get a free crit on him. Even then, you can see our, our regular soul rip damage isn't doing all that much. In general, I want to pull him out into a more open area here. Uh, but after doing your soul rip, you can pop some cysts to get more soul rip charges back. But since we obviously can't do the entire fight like that, I'll show how I would do it from behind. So we can do a little iframe spot dodge through that. The thing is, he primarily does wither damage, so as long as you're avoiding the wither damage, he's not that bad. Just don't want to get hit right in the front of him. Now when he does these little worms, if you walk on them, you'll take a large amount of wither damage. So whether you want to deal with that is up to you. Uh, I think it's a little bit easier to just kind of avoid the worms and transition to up top when that happens in the fight. Additionally, if you are playing as ranged, we can of course uh, use the soul flay to open the face and then instead focus on getting in range damage. We can soften him up quite a bit by doing that. So now we can run over here. See how this is probably the, the safest way to do this encounter. Go ahead and pop a little Brio Stone. Get back some more mana. back down here so we have more room to, to play around with them put on the brio stone pair in case I need it probably wouldn't hurt to just pop that now I don't think there's any more vacuuming I can do nope. okay couple different things you can do to in that fight but you know whether you want to attack the face whether you want to fight it from range whether you want to attack the back 
uh, these enemies actually become quite common as the game progresses on. So, you know, whatever approach you find to work best for you, just stick with it. Uh, so up in here, we have a little hut, and this is going to have some loot inside and some enemies, so just go into it attacking. Pick up the purifying balm. It's basically a cure-all. And we don't want to spend too long in Umbral. Things are going to get spicy in a little bit here, so... It's another shortcut that we are kicking down. Uh, and this is basically right back at the, the start. So we'll do that in a second. But we want to go around here. Grab the Vanguard Barros' Rosary. And we'll exit Umbral. Okay. Um, we got the Rosary kicked down ladder. Proceed back to Vestige. To Dunmire. Yeah, alright, we're at 30 minutes. This is a good time to wrap this up. So we will go back over to this ladder we just kicked down. And there's a loot in the water there. I think it's just something that I. Or no, it's just the light that's that's shining, it looks like. No, is that a loot? What's that? Oh. Huh. Must have been something that I killed. There's not usually a loot right there. Yeah, so that's a drop. Uh, but yeah, we are right here, so we can uh, obviously remember this route from earlier in the episode. We're going to get back to our vestige here. Oh, well, if there's a lantern, I might as well go. Man, I just got bodied. Well, either way, uh, we are going to respawn, and what we want to do at this point is go back to the hub. We want to turn in the rosary, which will give us access to some new stuff, and we want to talk to Pieta and get a heal, and that is going to uh, basically just have us in a better position for the next boss fight. So, real fast, we're going to go back and get our stuff that we just lost at the Fen. Probably was a little... Uh, little overzealous of me to attempt to fight them with no heals and half my umbral health. Right, now I just gotta find that clown that killed me. Which one of you has my stuff? Who is it? It's you. I'm going to lose 10,000 absolutely unhinged that they think I'm going to allow that to happen. All right. Back to Skyrest. I can't believe I've lost six umbrals. From, uh, from dicking around, essentially, with that that thing. I'm like, oh, it's taking my rooms. I can definitely buy them. Uh, but we can if talk to him. Demand, for there is death is a merciful... And hand Vanguard's over president, wherever the Barrow Sorcery, and this will give us access to a new set. Uh, there's nothing in here that, that I particularly want, but keep in mind, we obviously need to collect all of this stuff going for the Platinum Trophy. And of course, we had another heal, which we can pick up at the Just harboring time. many of them believing, and yet, dis is that not a sign? All right. Uh, so from here, we're going to close things out. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to make our way up to the Hushed Saint and essentially finish up the remainder of this area in terms of spending since we are now at 20 on both of these now we are going to start focusing on our radiance and ramping up our damage uh, alternatively if you're doing strength agility inferno whatever the case is now that we've hit hit the 2020 threshold this is a good point for us to start getting our damage up more so wrapping things up here and i'll catch you soon as we continue